Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be playing in the Legacy Showcase Challenge. I have not played the format in a really long time, so um, what's going to happen is I just... I'm going to go in cold. <laughs> I'm going to go in, get in there cold. I'm going to be playing um, a seven or eight round tournament with uh, this deck list that Matthew Book uh, hooked me up with. Um, this is the kind of deck that I enjoy playing Legacy when I feel like doing well, not when I when I <laughs> feel like brewing, um, which would be more of a Reclaimer style deck. Uh, but uh, this kind of deck has treated me pretty well in the past, so we're going to be trying it through this event. You're going to notice that I have a 14 card cyborg. The reason for that is that um, I couldn't rent the cards for mana traders before the event, and I literally joined the event with zero minutes left on the clock. Um, so I had to actually buy the cards that I was missing, and amongst those cards, there were a couple of meltdowns, two meltdowns in the sideboard. I looked in gold bots, which is usually the, the place where I get my cards, and they only had exactly one copy of meltdown, which was in like a random bulk bot, <laughs> bulk bot um, that had a, a, this one single fold, foil copy. So I, I have submitted the 14 card sideboard. Uh, but uh, yeah, besides that, this deck is just what a control deck looks like in Legacy. We have Udo, Insane Card Advantage, Iteration, Insane Card Advantage. Uh, we have Brainstorm, Ponder, Source of Plowshares, the cards that you would expect to see in, in this format. Uh, we are also playing a couple of copies of Dressdown. Dressdown is super interesting in this deck because it is, um, it is doing something very cool in that it has a ran bunch of random uh, little things that it does. Uh, a couple of examples are you can kill constructs straight up because they become zero zeros. So in a deck, in a format that is uh, fairly dominated by Ursa Saga, it's, it's not as uh, as everywhere as Ragavan is, but like it's fairly um, popular. Um, dress down uh, just lines up very well there. Uh, you can also you know do stuff like if your opponent dashes a monkey, you can dress down and it loses haste. Uh, you can also you know th there's like a bunch of things that you can do. And then of course it also sort of combos with Uro like on your end end step you can dress down, you can untap, and you can pay three mana for your Uro. You don't get to draw that card in that turn, but you also don't have the evoke trigger, so you just get a th th three mana six six, which is a pretty good deal. Uh, we're also playing three copies of Endurance in the Cyborg. This card is just... If you think this card is good in Modern, like, and I do think this card is very good in Modern, uh, this card is actually absolutely stellar in Legacy, just lines up so much better against the format uh, altogether. Like, it lines up well against Bolt, which is the most popular uh, removal spell, it lines up well against Prismatic Ending, it lines up well against Graveyard Strategies, and it's just like a random 3-4 beater with can pressure Planeswalkers, it can just beat down and end the game, so... So yeah, this is the deck list that we're going to be playing. Um, again, I didn't make any changes. I just asked on Twitter for a deck list, and Matt was uh, he was uh, very very nice, and he hooked me up. Uh, but I have not played a single match with the with the list, so we're gonna see how things go. Cross your fingers for me, and hopefully we can go the distance. If you're enjoying the content as usual, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you for round number one. All right, here we are for the Legacy Showcase Challenge. Um, it's not great, but I guess I'll keep this. So I'm gonna ponder. We can ponder on one. <clears throat> Set up our draw steps. All right. Yeah, these are good cards. I like these cards. Um, so we're gonna draw the brainstorm, which is pretty good because we get to put the sanctuary back in the deck. Uh oh, this deck plays no basics. So if we had, <laughs> if we get moon here, oh, this is the. Oh, that's a problem. We're gonna get Karn here. Yep. This is the mono black deck. It's like a mono black haymaker deck. Funny enough, we can ending that in a couple of turns. And it's not particularly well equipped to deal with with a fast Karn. That we can deal with fairly 
easily. But my opponent came here to drop the hammer. Brainstorm first, get rid of that, get rid of this. Yeah, uh, maybe I should have killed this. I don't think so though. Uh, I am gonna force the coding, however. I guess I'm pitching Jace, because I'm gonna need to dress down to deal with the Saga tokens. Shuffle, look for a Tundra, Untap, Savannah. School iteration. Brainstorm to hand, this, this. Play my drop. I wasn't the best iteration I've ever cast, I'll tell you. One, two, three, four. So if they actually have another soul land, we are in a ton of trouble here. Because we just, we're just gonna get latticed, unless I get really lucky of this brainstorm. But if they don't, then I can just kill the car next turn, which is nice. I'm not sure what they can get off of it. We'll see soon enough, I guess. Maybe a combo piece. Because they have the combo, the helm combo. So helm plus a ley line effect just text your opponent immediately. They do get lattice, but they can't cast it this turn. Yeah, so this is just kind of great, right? Like I killed a Karn and they wasted, they wasted a Karn minus. Prismatic ending, uh, red, blue, green, white. This card's so messed up. There goes Karn. I could have killed the Chrome Mox. Well, I mean, obviously killing the Karn is just better, right? Like eventually they're gonna have mana for Lattice. So here, Dress Down is gonna be able to kill both Constructs, which is very, very nice. And draw a card for our troubles. Hagra Broad Pit, okay. Retrofeeder Foundry. So I'm going to dress down main face, and my opponent can't crack tokens. Whew, that's big. So let's dress down first with this mana. Force is very nice. This is going to kill the Foundry. Now we're going to pass the turn holding force of negation. <laughs> it's a hard way to do it. Yeah, that's fine. It means that I can't pitch the force anymore. So that's the only Annoying thing here. I'm gonna look one card deeper, I think. Udo, please. Iteration. Okay, yeah, that that's also fine. Um so I can't pitch the force anymore. But I'm definitely gonna be playing strand this turn. 
So, and I really need Anuru. Let's put Force of Will in hand, mostly because I can just hard cast Force. And I'm probably going to Endurance on Instep. If they don't force me to cast Force of Negation. Endurance is so good, man. I love this card so much. <laughs> Gives you so much flexibility. Also, my opponent's at 10 because of the Ancient Tomb. This is a four turn clock. Oh, now Mana Traders decides to. Then I'm gonna accept the trade so this doesn't pop up later, but. Yeah, these are the cards that I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to trade earlier. <laughs> Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Okay, Chrome Mox resolves. Nice combo. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm gonna take the damage anyway. Like my opponent made a mis made a mistake there, but taking that damage all right so end step we're just gonna cast our boy endurance oh that's wait that's right mana colors don't matter anymore If I don't find the land, we lose. <laughs> if they have a Karn. Because they can cast a Karn. Like if they top deck a Karn and I go for or I don't find another land, we actually just lose the game. I think I'm gonna be a coward. I mean I can brainstorm, look for another land. Hardcast force. Like I, I can still do stuff. When he gets in there with the servo. Gotta appreciate the the devotion. So brainstorm looking for land. That is fantastic. That is just so good. Um I could just play a Snapcaster and just get back Brainstorm. Just so I use my mana effectively and I just put another body into play. That seems good to me. And I do want to draw the plow because I can plow the servo token. Yep. I took a lot of damage from that Asian too. Alright, managed to Managed to get in there. So, Meddling Mages. Force of Negation for sure. Meltdown looks fantastic. Really wish I had a second copy of this card in my sideboard right now. Really wish I had a second copy of this card in my sideboard right now. Um. Shout out to Prismatic Ending for being amazing. <laughs> um, endurance. Let's go with this. See what happens. Let's go with this and see what happens. No cantrip, no force. Yeah, I'm probably gonna ship this. Much better, much, much better. 
upkeep. We're just going to bottom the land. Unless they pay a needle, name Misty in the blind. Chalice, I'll let resolve. Another force is kind of nice. Uh, yeah, I guess we do have to force that one. Drop Tundra. No, that was pretty brutal. That opposition engine was really good. Now, if they, if they have a counter, there's nothing I can do. I mean, I can pressure it, but yeah, lay line of the void. Oh, that's fine. Plus the turn. So you can endurance to start putting up pressure. City of Traitors. Another ley line, you got it. Surprise, three, four. may want to shuffle in worst case scenario this is an orborg so this is fine rolling down to 11 nice child is doing work oh, i guess i can't do that it's just that's just it's something to pitch <laughs> i mean i guess whenever i want to i'm going to be able to get rid of this just got x equals two I think I could get more value from it, particularly now that I can just hard cast force. You think I waste like the Uruborg? This means that now they have to take damage from Ancient Tomb or, you know, blow up their city. Both of which are acceptable. Now we get to... Now we wasteland the Uruborg because they can't tap it for mana anymore. And I think this should be locked up. Sweet. Got there. Wanna know? 14 cards sideboard. <laughs> 14 cards cyber for a color. Too strong. See you next round. Okay, here we are with round number two. We're gonna get seven cards. Double duration. Never ever shipping a double duration hand. <laughs> um, so I probably wanna go turn one, play this, pass, play this. I guess like, all of my lands fetch any of my fetch lands because I have the Savannah in my hand, or, or my uh, dwarves. So it doesn't, really matter so i guess i'm I play around piting needle by playing the misty first <laughs> so if they like blind name something they can get at least at most one of my lands <clears throat> all right delta fetch what do we got here volk drc volk drc gonna plow this I think of a tundra we can dace it it's not really that big of a deal 
it's just the endurance is just gonna be awkward, right? Like because if I won a duration on two, I'm not gonna be able to endurance on three. Sure, they can taste this, they can multitude of things, but <clears throat> wasteland me. Okay. Well I'm I'm okay with this. Certainly okay with this. I want to be able to go. Okay. They didn't do anything, so if they if they uh, volk again, if they waste again, I'm, I'm okay with that. I think. Well, looks like that plow on the. Kind of feels like that plow on the, on the DRC was the right move then. So my opponent, two turns gone by, have gone by and my opponent has done nothing. <clears throat> Gonna be dashing a monkey here, yep. Oh, just casting and wasting. Upkeep waste. So if I want ending this, <clears throat> which I do, I think I'm going to lead on Tundra here, ending the monkey, and then I'm going to find another Volk. <clears throat> um, pretty far away from this guy. I think I want this though. The only problem would be the only problem would be um. Oh, that's brutal. Merc type plus wasteland is brutal. I'm out of red sources, I think. Go check out the deck list real quick. We have a taiga. Okay, so it's not a big deal. Um, so let's ponder first. Jace demands call to is a really slow answer to this. I don't think I'm gonna have that much time. <clears throat> Four. <clears throat> We're gonna fetch for Taiga here. I assume this gets dazed. Blue, red. I assume this gets dazed. Yeah. I could have played around it, but then then my source of plowshares would have gone in dazed if I do get lucky and I find the swords. So I don't think it's really worth it. Here we're gonna have an interesting turn though. I think I'm gonna go with iteration again instead of playing the loam. So I could loan back my lands, but opponent chooses to not shuffle mismatching ponders. What a mess. Imagine having mismatching ponders. Um so that at this point, I mean this is a three turn clock. Which is a little bit of an issue. 
So land plus plow would be the ideal thing to find here. Land plus plow would be the best. Prismatic ending. Maybe this gets forced. I think I'm gonna, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I, I just have to do this, right? Because otherwise uh, I'm, I'm losing the card, so. It's not that likely that they have another days, but they could definitely have a force, which is, yeah, they do have force of, force of will. <clears throat> which is very much worth using there, of course. Four we go. Do they have another one? They don't. So ponder. Any order? Yes. That's that's not good. That's not good. We can fetch. We're also pretty far away from Mystic Sanctuary, which is kind of rough. Uh, we're gonna have to like fetch an endurance. We're dead to bolt. Get the drop. <clears throat> and I think I'm gonna, even though it makes the Merc if this resolves, it makes the Merc Tide trigger. My only way of winning this game is to plow the Merc Tide, so I'm going to still target them even though it grows it. And the reason is so they can't play a second one if I do find an answer to it next turn. So this is going to grow the Merc Tide uh, quite a bit. <clears throat> but I'm dead to it anyway, right? So. So now we're gonna throw the endurance under the bus. DRC. Okay. It's not a slow roll, my opponent. Like that's just the correct play. Okay, so we do like pyros and revs. We do like carpets. <clears throat> we do like hydroblasts. Cut all the forces. Staticaster is interesting. Don't like Sharp Typhoon. Dress Down seems a little bit medium to me. I think I'd rather have Staticaster than Dress Down. Endurance is a banger. Loam is a banger. Nah, I don't think I want Fluster. Eh, maybe I do. Over Jace, number two. Yeah. Seems pretty good to me. This seems pretty good to me. Melee Mage is sort of interesting. But I don't think it's better than any of my other cards. This art's great. I'm gonna do this on the stack. So if they do have the days, they can't, they don't get the surveil. The fetch, they go. Really feels like the third wasteland got me the previous game.
Those are nice. It's good stuff. We're not gonna be using it here, but now that this is resolved, I don't think they have any way of getting rid of it. <clears throat> Snow covered mountain, I guess that's a way to play around carpet of flowers. <clears throat> yes, blue ponder. Okay. Yeah, these are nice. These are very nice. Uh, well, we definitely want Uro. We're not going to play it this turn. But we want to have access to it. Results. The carpet just does so much for us. <clears throat> We're not gonna have enough to like play in flashback Udo. Nature's bubble. Hmm. I guess I kind of want endurance on instep. It's a way to put pressure. Going for Savannah. It's a way to use my mana. Maybe I should have gotten bulk there. I should have definitely gotten bulk. <clears throat> my opponent can taste this, which would make my carpet man out bad. That's fine. At, at this point, I feel like the carpet is more of a threat than anything else. So let's make blue. Wait, what happened? Where's my mana? Oh, they don't have an island anymore. That's true. That's true. That's true. Almost forgot. <laughs> okay, so blue, green, one. I'm surprised that this deck does not have. <clears throat> I just realized this. This deck is not playing any. Sure, that's fine. Um, this deck is not playing any um, libraries. Is it just running zero libraries? Which is quite interesting. Here's some mark tide. Ponder first. Blue, blue, green, green, one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Reb. Okay, <clears throat> I think I'm going to brainstorm on their end step, so as to feed the Uro one more time. Monkey, okay. 
I'm going to brainstorm a response to the monkey so they don't exile a good card. So put that on top, put, uh, put that on top, put that on top. Take your land. <clears throat> They have another pyroblast. This is a problem. So I think I'm gonna look for like a fluster or something. Prismatic ending. Yeah, those don't do it. Okay. So this means they can't monkey. And then on their upkeep, I'm gonna source to play on fluster. <clears throat> Iteration is very good. Iteration is very good. How wild is it that this is like the deck that's supposed to like beat on the Delver deck <laughs> and it's still like I, I feel behind here. My opponent has more cards in hand than I do. Like this Delver deck is just unstoppable. It's kind of insane. Would be awesome to find. <clears throat> I guess this fetch land has is a mystic sanctuary, so I can go find the swords if I want to. That's nice. I, I would like to find a way to fight on the stack though, so I can resolve this world. Submerge. Okay. So we're gonna do. So we're gonna do triple blue. Play land, and I just got a jam, I guess. <clears throat> yep. So do this. Another iteration is devastating. Where are mine? I feel like we're just one iteration away from just turning the corner, but my opponent's been finding all of their card advantage spells and I, I just haven't. Because also when I find the first one, I can just draw the second one. At this point, if they can set up a Merc Tide, they are very, very likely to be able to be able to protect it, which is a big problem. Like I really need to top deck here. I really need to top deck, top deck something very, very good. We know at least one of their cards is a monkey, so I would imagine that with this in play they would be shuffling that away.
to not being able to find folk. Yep. I mean, I just have to do this. I'm just so dead to this merc tide otherwise. Like I could try to luck sack. And I have to do this right now too. If they have force, I'm in trouble. They don't, okay. Uh, I'm gonna say no, just pass it to him. <clears throat> That's uh that's pretty that's pretty rough. That's third iteration. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Maybe the turn where I cast the endurance, I should have just held it on turn number three. I thought that I was in a situation where I really wanted my opponent to just use their mana. Um, or, or, sorry, when, when I wanted to use my mana, because I didn't know. But yeah, may, maybe that was just like a bad exchange for me. Because like, we see how dead daces, the daces would have been here. And my opponent didn't really put enough pressure in order to make this daces good. So, it's, it's rough. It's been it's been a while since I've been in touch with the with uh, with Legacy. I actually think that this is literally my first time facing Ragavan in Legacy, so <laughs> I should tell you that should tell you how often I play the format. Um, this is rough. I feel like I can't, I can't, I'm not gonna be able to win unless I find an iteration. Like I need to draw an iteration off the top right here. It's gonna be way too hard for me to, to win otherwise. My opponent has gone through literal half their deck. There are 31 cards deep. So they probably have like another Pyroblast or something like that hanging out for my Udo, so. I need to find, you know, something good. Um, can I find endurance? Endurance. I mean, it, it needs to be. What's his name, right? Yeah, this submerge is just devastating. That's that's pretty devastating. I mean, if if they exhale it, though, they give me a chance. That's a really funny way of getting rid of Uro, by the way. So we got a draw iteration here. Endurance. Not bad. Well, I think I'm just doing this main phase. Again, I can't beat a Merc Tide, right? So. I have to prevent the Merc Tide from happening. This keeps the DRC at bay, which is nice. That was, yeah, that was a fine draw. That was a fine draw. We do have, we do have a significant amount of stink, stinkers in the deck right now, though. We do have a lot of stinkers in the deck right now. A Wasteland is awful. Caracas doesn't do anything. Like any any line would just just wouldn't do anything. Like the only land that did anything was the sanctuary, and we already used it. <clears throat> oh, 
on there. The failure of the cape on top is bad news for me. <laughs> it's probably pretty bad news for me. Um, three cards in hand, one of which is a monkey. <sighs> Iteration number four is just... Ugh. So devastating. Iteration number four is just so devastating. The exile monkey. If they if they haste the monkey, I think I'm blocking the monkey. I'm taking three. Oh, they're just going for Murktide. That's so much worse. <laughs> That's so much worse for me. All right. Here we go. Iteration off the top one time. Yeah, that doesn't do it. That doesn't do it, unfortunately. And we're one card off getting back Udo. So brutal. This is rough. This is so, so rough. <sighs> I don't feel like my opponent was, like they managed to get better value from their plays than I did. So def I think I made, I made at least a couple of mistakes in this, in this game slash match. Um, I am pretty certain of it. Like I could have played a lot better here. And if I had, you know, just extracted more value out of my cards, I would have probably been able to um put myself in a better position to win the game it's like a blood moon or something that could be for three mana narset <laughs> ah yeah that's, that's pretty good Sword. <laughs> oh. I'm dying inside. Yeah, we're just dead here. What sucks about that draw is that now I kind of have to keep playing. <laughs> because my opponent's pretty low on clock. I mean, I, we do know about the monkey in hand, though. We do know about the monkey in hand. That's three Merktites down. That is three Merktites around, down. Okay, so they're gonna be able to just turn the corner rather quickly. Storm. Oh, that's right. LOL. <laughs> oh, iteration, where are you? Oh, iteration, where are you? This is just lethal with the known monkey. Yep. Yeah, so the, the story of this game was just...
I just didn't know. That. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> when is my first iteration? Holy crap. I had to dig 47 cards to find my first expressive iteration. <laughs> All right, see you next round. All right, here we go. Round number three. Yeah, let's give this hand. Point almost to six. Okay. Turn one, ponder. Okay. So we're going to go turn one, tundra, I guess. Drop could be many, many different things. Drop could be many, many different things. It could be some combo deck, it could be a mirror match. Uh, crap. And then we have to force that. We're gonna pitch or instead of iteration because like we are not really sure whether we're gonna be able to cast Uro yet. Ugh gross. Um, well, I guess that we can just ending it, so it's not a big of a deal. So that worked out. <laughs> uh, get a Tundra, ending that. The sickest bluff of all time. <laughs> the sickest bluff of all time. What a messed up card. What a messed up card. This is my ending card. Snap Ponder. Okay. So we're just gonna iteration here. My opponent's just playing bug. Just like bug mid-range. Choose to not shuffle though. Mm -hmm. That goes to hand, bottom. Maybe should have no, I definitely have to keep the force over the And that's why. And that is why I have to keep the force. So let's brainstorm here. Splows are not looking good. Can we just send them both? Let's keep one of them. Let's keep one of them. And I'm gonna, if my opponent attacks, I'm just gonna send the put the endurance in there. But I, I wanted to make sure that I, if my opponent has a new world, that I have something to do about it. So we're gonna get drop here. And unfortunately, I cannot get back Mystic Sanctuary back the iteration. Taiga, so it's gonna be a bulk. Gonna cast this endurance. Green, green and one. Gonna block Assassin's Trophy. Okay. No basics, so. Too easy. Some might even say that it's too easy. So put that on top, put that on top, play that, green, blue, one. Gonna draw the land, I think. And then we'll see whether I want to shuffle away the, the source of plowshares on top or not. We'll probably find that out soon enough, depending on what they do here. This looking pretty good for me. Um, I guess I can just 
put an iteration on top. Seems pretty good. So Mystic Sanctuary, back expressive iteration. Iteration. Green, blue, green, blue. One, two, three, four, five. There's no way they're playing base. <laughs> Land, sure. Looking pretty good here. Opponent can push this. That's fine. Zero cards in hand for them. And when Udo comes back next turn, the exile effects as opposed to the destroy effects making such a massive difference right here. Um, green, green, blue, blue. I think I'm not going to play this land. Okay, now that I drew a ponder, I am. Kind of like this. But I'm going to just pass the turn. So there's an endurance on top, which I think I want to draw. There's an endurance on top, which I think I want to draw. And yep, there we go. All right, so this is some sort of pseudo mirror. We probably want pyroblasts, cover the flowers, fluster, cut forces, cut dress down. They didn't show me red mana. They may be splashing for Pyroblast or something, but they didn't show it to me, so I'm not going to bring in Hydroblast. I guess even if it's just Pyroblast, I'm probably not bringing it in anyway. Uh, we don't want our own Pyros. We want our Revs. We want our Carpets. Fluster seems fine. Still don't know how I feel about SDP. Maybe I'd rather have Forces instead of Source of Plowshares. Like, two are fine, because I probably have to answer Udo, but like, ending answers Udo already. Endurance sort of answers who wrong. Dress down is interesting against Snapcaster. Let's, let's go with something like this. Yeah, this looks fine to me. Only good cards. Uh, yeah, keep this. The most to six again. Turn one, drop. The one of SDP. <laughs> the one of Source Flushers. I kind of want to wasteland them. I guess now that I drew Udo, I'm not going to. Because I have ways to really make sure that I'm make, making the most of my mana. Library. Counter, pitching, iteration. Punished. Play land, take over. Ponder is Coolio. He 
10 Baleful Strix. It's pretty cool. That's the reason to play lack. I do think that I want to go for trop here and I want to brainstorm on it instead. Again, I'm trying to feed the Uro. Not loving the Caracas, so Caracas is going to go and so is Plow. And now we get Volk. Another question is do I. I think I'm going to wasteland my opponent. Green, blue, one. Good luck that. Waste you. It's nice that Shark Typhoon works really well. Against the Strix. Pony has their own Udo. Big game. Huge game. Jesus. Well, now we just get to play Udo. Yes, green, blue, blue, Udo. Mm -hmm. <sighs> that was a big one. <laughs> that was a big top deck. Massive top deck. Massive, massive top deck. So my opponent gets to play their own Udo if they want to. All right, it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong for sure. They get to enable the Udo and get a land back. Not a bad deal at all. Sure. Udo down. All right, that's that was a big swing. That was a big, big swing. Um, let's ponder. Looking for more lands. <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, yeah, this is great. So we're gonna do. Say no. Play this. And. We just have to play this second Udo. I can just Shark Typhoon. Shark Typhoon. There's an ending on top, which I, I need to get rid of this guy. So I'm considering the possibility of just pondering right now. I think I'm gonna pass. And I think I'm just going to cycle shark. We're gonna be able to find like a plow or another prismatic ending, I think. We also have iteration. We also have uh, our own carpet would be nice. Ponder first. That also answers Udo. Um, so let's do. Put that in hand, that in the bottom, 
exile that. Oh, I thought it was resolving that iteration. Uh, we're gonna say no then. Um, that was that was very funny actually. <laughs> well, green, green, blue, blue. Two, three, four, five. That's that's super funny. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Um, so next turn we're gonna be able to J suit fluster back up. Wasteland's good for them. Strix. It's a lot. That is a lot. Okay. Um, so let's go with Volk. On this Jace minus an Uro. Pretty good. Ah, it's pretty good. All right, so the dress downs are actually looking pretty fine. If I'm being honest. Green, green, blue, blue. Get rid of everything. They land. Pass the turn. Hopefully, do something on end step so we can fluster it. Cycle wilt. Damn it. <laughs> Can't fluster that one. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna end tap before they before I try to STP so I can fluster him to Torak. Well I guess I'm gonna have to fluster that instead. Savannah fluster you please. Same targets. Please attack with the Strix. Blue, red, iteration. Does Sloan even matter anymore? Kind of feels like Sloan may be a little bit too late here. I guess it's fine. So, Sloan that. Play that. Fetch for Savannah. Ponder. Say no. Plow that. Pass the turn. We're at a head on clock, which is good. Next turn we can ending the Veilful Strix and start attacking with Udo. Well, never mind. We have to ending that thing instead. Uh, I guess I could... They don't play the land, so I'm going to risk it. They could be playing around the Endurance, but I'm going to risk it. Niall's Pellum's fine, whatever. It doesn't do anything. But now I don't have to two for one myself. So let's do 
Council. Playland. White. Blue. Done. We know that the top card is a Taiga. Swing six. And I'm going to play around fours by doing this now. By play around fours, I mean they have to two for one themselves. Let's put an iteration on top. in our set so I'm gonna do this beforehand those are some bangers so this means that just an attack kills them chase the mind sculptor better than all So, start with duration. <laughs> That's funny. Um, one, two, three. Very nice. So, force in hand, that to the bottom. Uh, we don't have another red source though. I think my second bulk is gone. Yep. So I fucked this up. I really fucked this up. Jeez. Yeah, I really fucked this up. Boy, what I would do to, <laughs> to have a rev right now. That was a mistake. <laughs> uh, it's a mistake. Uh, brainstorm. Okay. Bottom. Yeah. You can have your brainstorm, I think. Forces them to use their mana. Oof, this nurse that came down is owning me. Veil of Summer. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Such a massive mistake. I forgot that my previous Volk had been had been destroyed. I can't brainstorm. If I bounce my opponent veils or they just recast it, I'm gonna No, they, we we've seen it by you. So like we know that this just doesn't work. I'm 
All right, I'm just gonna pass the turn. The thing is, at least we managed to, like we Jedi mind tricked my opponent into wasting their Veil of Summer. So that's a little bit of a win. But now I really have to find the rep. Oh man, that's that's so punishing. That's so punishing. Yeah, block. They're gonna have uh, the command. Um, so maybe that's a reason to just not block there. Dress down is interesting. Okay. Okay. They have to have a way to counter this though, right? Hard cast force. Yep. No, we're gonna keep that on top. Pass the turn. Is the brainstorm still in their still in their hand? Ugh. <laughs> well, at least they didn't brainstorm. That's good for me. They didn't brainstorm there. It doesn't tell me if they put the card on the bottom though, which is I mean I assume that they do, but Liliana, the last hope. Okay. Get back snappy. White, green, blue. I mean, they don't have anything that counters this in the graveyard that they can snap back. Well, that's pretty big. Did they punt? It kind of feels like they may have punted. One, two, three, one, two, three. So I cannot Uro this turn. Um. Green, green, blue, endurance. Okay. Pyroblast. And endurance you. Endurance fights. We have to do that because we know of the Snapcaster. So now we're gonna block, which is gonna kill my endurance, which sucks, but then we can Udo. Now we, we just have to do this. Like, I just have to untangle this chase, right? Oh, they were going face? They were going face. Huh. I guess I should have looked. I just assumed that they were going to... <laughs> well, that's awkward. All right. So I guess we want to Udo into this Snapcaster. Green, blue, blue. When I Udo into the Snapcaster, Skin's life helps me stabilize. Um, do I want to crack as it? Gain three more life? I think I do. So 
So ponder. That's just massive, right? So the top, top, top. Say no. Green carpet flowers. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So now they're going to kill Jace, which is bad. Then I can parrow their Jace and get Bakudo. They do have Snapcaster in hand. Brutal. <laughs> Pretty brutal. Yeah, okay, so this one's slipping away. I think that at this point I'm just dead, like that, that wilt was just huge. Yeah. All right, let's move to game three. Okay, so my opponent is playing straight up bug with a bunch of planeswalkers. Narset is big deal. And a bunch of endurances. I don't want to change anything. I definitely want to change the way that I play. Like I want to be a lot more mindful about the, the potential of them having workers. I do think this is fine though. I wonder if I should just cut the carpets because of wilt. I don't think so though. But like I'm a little bit more interested in source of plowshares now. Dress down is pretty solid. Sure, keep this. Ponder, this is fantastic. Say no, pass the turn. Pretty solid tempo player right here. Carpet. I think this I shuffle away. Okay, it's a fine insurance. We imagine they're going to try to wield here. Library. So hand, bottom, exile, pass the turn. Command is so good. Ugh, they found a neuro. Jeez, that's so insane. Really good showing for Witherbloom Command, honestly. So let's go green here. We're just gonna hard cast this endurance. Could have jazed, but next turn I now I can jace with red backup. 
unless my opponent gets finds another answer to the carpet. This game is super interesting. Baleful Strix. I think this is fine to rev. Dot on top, pull dot on top. Fetch for Tundra, bomb back these two. So now we're pretty ahead on board. Don't have to worry about the spell bomb anymore. We have a significant man advantage thanks to the carpet. Let's hmm. do blue here. Land. We can have cast Shark Typhoon. That's so bad, though. <laughs> so let's not let's not do that. Um, I haven't played my second land here. Prismatic ending on top. We can use either Shark or Endurance to block and protect our Jace from an Endurance, which my opponent is very likely going to play here. Mm -hmm. Drop. Green, green. This. Force. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to be on even footing here. I do have the mana advantage. But in terms of cut advantage, we're about even. Liliana, the last hope. It's pretty good. If I draw something good, I'm going to hard cast this shark here. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Now we get a 4 4. Um, Taika. So white, red, green, whatever. Prismatic ending, Baleful Strix, get a 4-4. Four, four. Kill Liliana. <laughs> what a grind fest, I love these games. I love these games. Next turn, we can make a very big shark. <laughs> like, very, very big. Uh, this is super bad against Wilt or uh, Assassin's Trophy. They chose to not shuffle, so I'm assuming that they have an answer to the shark. Yep. Let's 
Let's go with blue and green. They would them. Wasteland. Endurance. Okay. Good timing. Because the way I stacked my triggers, we would have gotten them. Definitely want to wasteland them. And I'm definitely going to attack with this big shark. Down to five. Two cards in hand for opponent. But we have a new rune the graveyard. So just like my cantrips are great, I also have three iterations in my deck. I guess two iterations that are going to be potential game winners. Bailful Strix would be a problem though. Wither Bloom Command. Okay. For ya. So I can Mystic Sanctuary the ending back, kill the Endurance if I need to. Sure. Place Underground C. Sanctuary back prismatic ending. Sure, let's make white mana here, I guess. White, green, blue. Boom, two on one, two on one beating bug control. Um, pretty cool match, pretty cool match. This, this pseudo mirrors are just awesome to play. Super fun. All right, see you next one. All right, round number four. No cantrips, but I think this is probably a keepable hand. I'm gonna go turn one flooded strand, which means that it could be kind of awkward if my opponent plays something no I guess I have to play the tundra because I, I really want to get like trop and <clears throat> and volcanic so I guess I have to lead on tundra which is super awkward if my opponent's playing wasteland but like I'd rather that than not being able to like plow with the RC on turn one you know particularly when I'm only gonna have access to one white mana and I have two plows in hand so I think that the correct thing is for me to go turn one Tundra. Even though it exposes me to Wasteland on turn one. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Prismatic Vista. That has to be some sort of combo deck, right? Blue green Omnitel. Something to that effect. Never mind. Here is an overall opponent. What do you want to do about it? What do you want to do about it? Brainstorming response. Okay. Still no idea what my opponent could be up to over there. 
Maybe we are playing against the four color control deck of sorts. Am I getting mana type? No, there's no way. You don't have what it takes opponent to mana type me right now. <laughs> also, that would be a terrible mana type too, but besides the point. Like I, I would be okay with getting mana type here. If they want to plow Udo here, I think I'm okay with this. Is my opponent an Esper Vile? No, right? Can't be Esper Vile. Just can't be Esper Vile. I mean, they're just playing a straight up Tundra deck, it looks like. Could get wastelanded, so let's just do this here. I definitely want to find a second interesting force between force. Well, I'm going to force back. Does this resolve? No, it does not. They are pitching iteration in another force. So they are playing some sort of three color control deck. Three mana, what? I'm so scared right now. Merc that region. Oh, okay, never mind. We're fine. We are fine. Out of here, murky. <laughs> the good thing is that we don't care about Merc died. Do you have another plow that kind of sucks? Looks like they don't, which is good. So if they play anything, I can just plow whatever they play. Oof. <laughs> all right, all right, it's not the end of the world. It's not the other world, because Prismatic Ending is a messed up magic card. Okay, that's a card that I can pitch to force to protect the, to protect the, the ending. The problem is that now Merptide becomes a little bit of an issue. I have to find one more land that's not Wasteland. If I find one land that's not Wasteland, we should be in okay shape. That allows me to refuel. Meddling Mage would also be kind of brutal. They're also playing a three color deck, like they pitched an iteration, so this is just like blue, white, splashing red for iteration. Gotta let that go. We can take a couple of hits. That's nice. Um, yeah, I think we're actually putting force on top. <laughs> Yellow, green, and white. And I think I have to do it here. They could have force. If they have double force, we're dead. We just gotta do this here. OK. 
Gotta dodge a uh, second one of those. But if we do on tap, I think that we're going to win. Finger, as long as we don't get back to basics again. That we can beat, oddly enough. Because sending this messed up magic card. Blue, green, red, white. So, blue, green, red, white. Smatic ending. Now they got nothing. We do lose to another back to basics though. But here we do have Uro, we have the next Merc Tide covered. Green, green, blue, blue. Land or blue card would be great. Okay. So now if they do have back to basics, we have a way to just hard cast the force. And now it's a top deck war. But I think our top decks are better than my opponents. Exhibit A, so that goes on the bottom, that and that, say no. Do we want to protect the last world from a third swords? I think I do. I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to draw the Caracas, I'm going to play it, then I'm going to deploy Uro. I'm going to shuffle with the, the other land. So, land, shuffle. Let's get Taiga, blue, green, whatever. I'm okay with this. I accept the terms and conditions. I accept the terms and conditions of this exchange. <laughs> They're actually playing Snuggle Mountain, that's cool. You play that green, blue, whatever. Play this guy again. Snapcaster. I think I want to do this as just a card advantage engine. If they do have another plow, I, I don't think I force it though. Could snap ponder here to start putting on the pressure. Damn it. Blue, blue, one. There we go. Let's 
like a plane and a bunch of other things happening right now. So much going on. Probably gonna snap caster force here, I think. Maybe this is a little bit of a waste. Doesn't really feel like a waste. Like it seems very hard for my opponent to be able to to beat this this card advantage engine. But maybe I should just like put the Orion play and start killing them. Killing them is the best card advantage, right? <laughs> Getting them them dead is an infinite for one. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, I won't take it. I have more removal than they do, probably. So I have more cards. Typhoon. I don't think I'm hard casting that, so I think if anything, we're just cycling. This time I'm just gonna let you go. Say no. Rainstorm. I should have probably fetched first. No, the ponder is fine. Um, I think we do have enough lands, however. Ah, oh, what a grind. These games are always such a grind. Okay, so top, top, top. No. Past the turn. Kind of feels like the endurance this would be a pretty solid draw right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now that I do have the force, Sharp Typhoon makes a lot more sense. Yep. Awesome. So, Power Blasts. Yes, please. Copper flowers. Yes, please. Um, I don't think I want hydroblasts. Dress down seems bad. They do have uh, what's his name, but still, I think dress down is probably bad. Um, endurance seems okay, but not fantastic. Prismatic ending is, as we just saw, extremely important. The fact that they have that they have back to basics kind of makes me want to hold on to the forces. We do have Pyroblast though to answer back to basics, so maybe it's fine. We can probably shave one STP. Well, they have Murktai. Like, how many answers do we have to Murktai? Three? Just three? I guess Jace is sort of an answer to Murktai. Hmm. This Loam is probably bad. Yeah, Loam actually sucks here. They have a bunch of basics, so Wasteland is going to be bad. They don't have Wasteland themselves, so... Kind of the Loam makes sense to me here. I'm not sure my opponent's playing an established archetype. Seems like they're playing, you know, sort of a brew. This hand slaps. Um, not going to play the carpet on one. Nice. I think we're chilling here, hitting our land drops. Next turn, I'm probably going to play Udo. Ideal scenario is they fetch for another basic island here. We get to do the thing. 
just going to rev. They could cluster here. Maybe that's what they're thinking about. They decide against it. Play carpet. This nets me one mana. Unless they have like a disenchant. So, yes, blue, green, Ooh. dig a little bit deeper. Maybe opponent has Blau here, that's sort of fine. The fact that we don't, I mean, I guess we do have answers to back to basics. We do have Rev. We have Merktide covered. We have Merktide cover that we have. I guess we're looking for like a fluster storm, just making sure that our spells are going to resolve. Because if my opponent goes for back to basics, I probably have to just untap and like float mana. Like I, I can't just go for Snapcaster or Reb without any sort of backup, right? Get blue here, we're gonna brainstorm. Looking for one of our card advantage cards. That is none of them. So shuffle. For sanctuary. It's actually not bad. Get back rev. Sounds very good to me. We still have a land to play. So we have Rev, Snap, Rev, which is quite solid. Boom. Um, so put that on top, put that on top, put that on top. Say no, play a land, say go. Okay. We get Fetch plus Udo on top. Merktide. Plowed. You've been plowed. Yes. Blue. Fetch the Uro away. Get a trap. Green, green, Udo. Pyroblast. It's fine. Exchanges that don't cost, that co cost us cards are pretty good for us. Hmm. That's hella scary. That is indeed quite scary. Let's find the Vogue. Brainstorm. I really have to find an answer to this bad boy. Should have left the <laughs> source of loud hearse in there. Yeah, 
Yikes. Um, am I Snapcaster brainstorming here? Am I that desperate? I kind of am. This means I don't get to Udo here. I guess I should Snapcaster Ponder, not Snapcaster. Dress down. Well, I'm gonna grab that. And if they do have back to basics, now I'm super, super screwed. Pretty good for them. It's a pretty good exchange for them. Um, we're just gonna play endurance and say go. Oh wait, I could I could bathe. Whoops. So cast this thing. Can you hold on to that as a bluff? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Hmm. Can we dodge the back to basics? And we dodge the back to basics. <laughs> that's the that's the story of this game. If we dodge the back to basics for maybe one or two more turns, maybe we can do something here, but this mentor's doing the thing. Mentors doing as mentor does. It's a lot of tokens. That is a lot of tokens. Five, nine, fourteen. Uh, that's bad. Blue. Maybe you can draw Jace. Seen enough. I have seen enough. Two lands. Steady caster. I mean, it, it, it is a way to kill all of the monk tokens, but seems a little bit too narrow. Snapping off this hand. Very solid. Unless my opponent gets to Lotus in our set or something. In which case. Should have plenty of time for the third game, and we are pretty ahead of my opponent on clock. 
force. Do I care about a force? I think I do. I think I do care about force number one. Nice. Probably gonna not shuffle away that brainstorm. I am probably gonna shuffle away the other land though. And I'm just gonna throw in there on endurance. See if it sticks. You shuffle. Swing. Waste you. <laughs> Do I ram this? I really want to. I think I'm going to. This is so aggressive. That is just so freaking aggressive. I think next turn I'm gonna brainstorm on my main phase. I think next turn I'm gonna brainstorm on my main phase. Sure, that's fine. Line is very nice. Probably gonna just ponder here. I'm just gonna jace here, I think. Uh, but my opponent's gonna already to rev it. But then we force, opponent forces back. We don't have a shark table anymore. And this actually, yeah, I'm gonna shuffle this. Pretty good. Um, I guess I'm gonna do that next turn. I can cycle shark here and instead if I want to, which I probably am. two 
say blue here. Iteration probably gets uh, revved. I can force if I want to. Is this where we fight? I think no. One does have more cards. I have more mana, but they have more cards. There's murky. Blue. Can I find some card advantage, please? Thank you. So this on top, these on top. Udo. Am I bouncing here? I think I'm bouncing. Nah, I might. No, I don't think I'm bouncing. Yeah, I don't think I'm bouncing. I do feel like I still have to play around. Um, what's his name? What's the name of the card? Um, back to basics. So because of that, I'm going to take this five. And if my opponent goes for a B2B, I'm going to hard cast force. If they don't. Huh. Well, actually, I'm going to plow that now. Say no, play carpet. Not blocking, so I might as well attack. Then we're going to say blue. The other one's going to say green. Udo's going to come back. One, two, three, four, five. Just going to fluster the pyro. Still a Mystic Sanctuary? Hell yeah. Still a Mystic Sanctuary. So now we can Sanctuary back the Plow. We could also just Sanctuary back Iteration. I mean, this Merc cannot raise my Uro, so. And we can protect the Uro with Caracas. That's kind of a greedy attack, in my opinion. No, and no. Swing. Let's 
say no here, pass the turn. I think this coming turn I'm gonna go with back iteration. Could get back fluster or rev too. Those are other options. Udo is so messed up. <laughs> Udo is so messed up. Udo is such a messed up card. Sure, let's also draw the rev. Sounds good. Blue and green. The double carpet kind of helps here. <laughs> the double carpet helps a little bit, I would say. So, fetch. Mystic Sanctuary. Get back expressive iteration. Udo. One, two, three, four, five. Feels slightly far ahead. <laughs> I feel mildly far ahead. Um, yeah, probably not. Probably not. Sure, I could rave your Merc Tide, but. Cut there. Three and one. Let's go. All right, here we go. Round number four, three and one. This is a hand that has a land and a cantrip, so we keep it easy. Um, I think I'd rather have the brainstorm than the endurance. Let's see what we're up against. Badlands. Monkey. All right. Badlands into Monkey. That's a combination that I wasn't expecting. Just great sis. Okay. I'm gonna shuffle the endurance away, I think, because I really have to find, like, I can't find Taiga here. So, because of that, I'm gonna have to find a bulk. And that means that I'm not gonna cast endurance for at least two more turns if I get lucky. So, blue, red, iteration. Okay, so hand, bottom, exile. Play. That's green white, so I'm just gonna get another blue white. I guess I have to get a drop here. No, this is fine. We we do have the tundra already. So it's ending right here. I've no idea what my opponent is playing over there just yet. Dust monkey. Okay. <laughs> Got him. All right. So they didn't get any card advantage. They're they are getting a little bit of velocity though. Here, Sudo. They seem to be just playing Grixis. That's very nice. And now we just pass the turn. So I can make the cute play here, 
We chase to when my opponent dashes monkey. I dress down. That makes it so like it's it's nice because it's more mana efficient, and it makes it so the monkey loses haste. So the monkey can't attack. It goes back to their hand. So it's like a pseudo time walk of sorts, and I only take one from this DRC. Um. Okay, take one. I guess. They did exam work tight, so we're gonna have to plow the the regent. Okay, so I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to send that to the bottom. Like, no, like, like this. And then I'm going to flashback Udo. Mystic Sanctuary, get back Plow. Blue, blue. Green, green, Udo. One, two, three, four, five. Allow the regent pass the turn. Now we have Force plus Blue card in hand. We have Caracas to save Uro, although I don't know how my opponent would kill the Uro. This is fine. I would probably force an iteration, but I'm not, I don't think I'm forcing a brainstorm. We know that one of my opponent's cards in hand is the monkey. We have that covered here. But I guess they could have, um, they could have a wasteland, which would actually be kind of annoying. Uh, I think we forced this. So they do the tax, that's fine. Swing. Gonna keep that Uro. <laughs> That's a nice one. Uh, now the question is, do I play around Merktide? I think I do, right? So I play around Merktide by doing this right now. It means I don't get to eat the, the DRC for free, but it means that you know the best thing for my opponent would be to Merktide here, and I can stop that from happening. <clears throat> We got monkey covered, otherwise this covers the monkey as well. Oh, never mind. <laughs> there goes the monkey. Um, yep, that's a good one. Uh, so this one to the hand, this one to the bottom, this one to exile, swing with both. My opponent can't can trip into an answer. This is now lethal. If they dash monkey, I'm gonna wait until it comes into play, and now I'm gonna dress down, and it's gonna lose haste. 
And it's gonna get bounced on instep. Got him. All right. So this is like Grixis, just like Grixis monkey, I guess. All of these cards are gas. These are not that good. Um, not like vibing on the rest downs, I don't think. Loam is probably fine. Maybe Jace's can go. And the reason for Jace's to go is because um, they just get uh, they just get rebbed. If Jace does result though, it's just so good for us. Hmm. It's close. It's very, very close. I think we want Loam. Maybe we don't want the shark. Shark is just kind of awkward. Maybe I don't want Fluster, honestly. Maybe Fluster is the card that I should be cutting. Ah. <sighs> I'm gonna keep this hand and be very, very sad if my opponent has a daze, but. Looks like my opponent does not have a daze. Yay, us. Opponent with the fancy ponders. Mostly with the correct art for opponent. My arts are a mess. Never didn't have the land. Let's do blue. Play this. I think I'm just getting Tundra here. No land is unlucky. I could have endurance myself there, but I think endurance is just like a legit way to win the game. This goes to hand, bottom, exile, play that, ending that. We have a Hydroblast here. Sure. I mean, they, they can't force this. They know about the Hydroblast, so um, I don't... It's just a weird brainstorm. Just like they knew what was on top, so... I think I chill on this for now. Be 
blue. I'm going to say no to the other one. Just a lot of lands. Just don't do anything. Um, that's very good. So I'm going to say yes here. Red. Gonna attempt to flashback iteration here. They could have days, but if they days, and we still have Snapcaster which trades with the monkey, so we got that covered. Kind of sucks. So I guess we're putting Chase in hand. Endurance to the bottom, and that goes to exile. Pretty brutal that we didn't find land there, honestly. We had a lot of looks. Sure. So now we're going to have a lot of mana. So I'm just going to go blue blue, I think. Just casually play Jace for free. Casually play Jace for free. No big deal. If they want to trade, fantastic. If they don't want to trade, also fantastic. Green one, whoops. Green. They sell their graveyard so they can't merc tide past the turn. We have a fetch and, an, and, a, and a duel on top. So if they rev here, I guess the Jace just dies, which sucks. That is definitely worth fire blasting. Counter target spell if it's blue. Say no, say no. I'm gonna brainstorm first. Yeah, this is some good stuff. <laughs> this is some uh, some good stuff. So swing first, three, yes, blue, yes, red, iteration, hand, bottom, exile, play it, so you go, so now we have double rev up, we have endurance, And these endurance are just to two turn clock. Jace, Jace, Jace. Green, one, green. Dude, endurance is so good. And this is the problem, right? This is the problem when you are. a lot of stuff um, that on top and then this and uh, this is the problem when you are you know using surgical extraction to get rid of four right like I spent three mana and I got a card out of the deal and my opponent spent I'll shuffle that and they they spent that entire card and they achieved nothing 
one of one of us ended up ahead on that exchange you know oh my god i just realized about brainstorm plus <laughs> just realized about brainstorm plus plus life from the loam <laughs> oh that's awesome Boom. Four on one. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. All right, here we go. Yeah, we're going to keep this hand. We got fours in case my opponent is playing combo. We have turn one dress down. Oh, I can even ponder now. Awesome. I'm going to ponder off of a tundra, I think. Let's see what we find. Um, kind of looking for land here, so I think I'm cheaping this. Am I just playing Taiga say go? They just played Volk Volk. I think we just do this. We found our, our awkward mana, but... Okay. So they exiled the day, so they are playing Delver, and they missed the land drop, which is obviously very good for us. So I think I'm, I'm gonna go for the dream here if they don't do anything. If they do something, I'm probably gonna react, obviously, but if they don't do anything, I'm just gonna go for the dream here. Ponder is fine. The dream being, of course, Tundra, like dress down. Um, okay. Dress down into Udo. Hopefully, we can find a land. Can we leave the dream here? Days. Yeah, that's fine. You got me. No land. Sadness. But now we get to play Anuro. That's a 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> Doesn't die. <laughs> you love to see it. You love to see it. 6-6, six, six, baby. <laughs> here <I> go. <laughs> nice days. Nice days. Oh, crap. Well, I'm going to wait until this happens. Then I'm going to force speech in force. They force back or they days. I'm probably going to. Yeah, this is brutal. Force that days. Force back. They're getting so value, so much value off of the. All right, so I was surprised by that by that tundra. Okay, so my Udo dies, and I assume they're just gonna blow up my my tundra. Yep. Land. Ponder is not great. Ponder is not great. Oh man, I can't believe they had the they have the STP. Yeah, Merc type two. Jeez. Must be nice. Must be nice. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Island. Okay. Bulk. Boom. So top, top, 
top, say no. I guess I'm gonna upkeep the source of closures, kill the Merktide. This is some my opponent can't force of negation me. Blue, red, duration, loam. I think we're shuffling here. I think we're shuffling here. Uh, did I did I not click shuffle? Oh, that's right. This is uh, <laughs> this is. I I keep <laughs> I keep mistaking this. That's very funny. Uh, so I guess I want to draw this nappy, but I definitely need to find the land. It's just, this is interesting. So, Snapcaster land Udo, I think. And next turn I can Udo loam into, loam into Udo. So, green, blue, loam. They land green, green, blue, Udo. It's big. It's a big, big deal. Now we draw the Snapcaster. Play that. I'm gonna plow here. It's kind of fine. We're down two Udos. We're down three Udos? No, we're down two. Okay, yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, yeah, these are pretty good. So, top, 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 say no. Pass the turn. And I think I'm just cycling Typhoon this coming turn. I could Jace. The problem if I Jace is. <sighs> well, they, now they have been an oil Typhoon. But Jace dies to to uh, Bolt. Jace dies for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can make a five, five. <laughs> My opponent's been swinging at me with this DRC, and I'm still at infinite life. It's very funny. That's a murky. <laughs> okay. Set murky tide regent. So I guess we're gonna go snapcaster plow. Force of will. Okay. And I'm gonna cycle this shark, I think. So Mystic Sanctuary, Force Plow on top. Yes, Cycle Shark. Make a 3 3. Draw the plow. One, two, three. Awesome. Sideboarding against another Merc type deck. So all of these cards are pretty good. And this is solid. We cut these. Cut these ones. Cut the forces. Cutting one Jace. 
aqua shark. Is this what, we, this is what we've been doing? I think so. Yeah, let's go with this. All right. Um, yeah. Keep. Keep. Put them all to six. Let's see what they can do. Attempt to kill monkey. Get dazed. Okay, cool. DRC. DRC. Left the card on top, which is potentially a problem. That's how you top that kids. And that is how you do it. Yes, we're gonna add the green man. Thank you very much. We're gonna play this Udo guy. That is how you top deck. Iteration. I'm gonna wait until they do the thing. Once after they've been, I'm just gonna power blast this. Spell if it's blue. Turns out that it is indeed blue. Okay, they have the days. It's bad for me, but. As long as they don't have surgical, we're kind of fine. Okay. 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 So let's ponder first. Hell yeah. Top, top, and this. So you know. Slow back a land. Play this. And now. I think I want to do this endurance thing right now. Find the trap. Green, green one. I don't have an answer to Merc Tide lined up just yet, so it seems important to. Okay. They do have their card advantage going. I'm about to have my card advantage going though. We're gonna dredge loam. Dredge loam looks real hot. Wasteland. Really? Well, I guess it's like the land that they have. They probably shouldn't wasteland me. I guess they are, okay. Green. Can I draw some lands? Cool. Oh, it 
Let's get Savannah here. Taiga. Let's get Taiga. Green, green, blue, blue. Can Mystic Sanctuary back the dude? <laughs> Another iteration is that number three? Maybe it is number three. Those are not great pickups. Those are not great pickups. Okay, so let's go blue here. Red. Let's see duration. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, hand that. So, we're going to brainstorm here. some lands back in there plow play land and attack and say go next turn we're gonna get back the iteration with sanctuary <clears throat> We have a significant mana advantage here, which is nice. They're being monkey, huh? They're being in monkey. Oops, 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 oops. Damn it. Well, I messed this up. Yeah, I, I messed this up. Uh, that sucks. Um, I thought I had to stop on my upkeep for whatever reason, which I clearly do not. So that's, that's bad. It's really bad. Hopefully they do something before they attack. Oh, they have a Merc Tide. Okay. Now I'm not gonna forget about that upkeep stop. Sanctuary, get back iteration. I went alone, no. And now I'm gonna say blue. Is it 
targets. Have another pyro. Damn it. I think I'm holding onto these lands for brainstorm purposes. Maybe I should have just been dredging long so I can find a go faster. So well, I wish I had another sanctuary here for sure. We've been flooding pretty badly. We've been flooding really, really badly. This is pretty rough. One brainstorm just fixes everything though. I think we have three brainstorms. We have two Jace's, I guess one Jace, never mind. We have one Jace, we have Udo probably takes over as well. Um, we have a lot of very good draws. Another iteration would probably be very good. We have only one left though. Another plow by buys us time. This is close. This is very close. And they're not missing creature, right? Otherwise, what I would have done is I would have killed the DRC. I killed the DRC and that would have been able to lure him and the, the, the DRC is forced to attack, but they're not missing creature, so. Again, I don't think I'm supposed to loam. Ding, 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 blue, red, iteration. I don't have mana for the other thing, so. Um, hand, bottom, exile, ponder. Okay, so top, 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 no. Rainstorm. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Yeah, now we're talking. <laughs> now we are talking. Okay, so. I guess what on these two? Shuffle. Ponder. Say no. Play Caracas. Play Snapcaster. We can get rid of the murky. Source of plowshares. Plow. Murktide regions.
Next turn we get to play Jace with Hydro and Red back up. Source the Plowshares. Kill that one. Take three. We do know what we're drawing, so this time around we do want to dredge loam, I think. Narset. Kind of target to spell. And we want to dredge loam because we know that there's some lands on top. And we're going to brainstorm with Jace, so loam turns those cards into yes need blue loan one two three now jace brainstorm ding 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 we got a winner! Green, blue, this, hold on. Yep, yep, yep. Five and one, baby! Let's go! Let's go! All right, here we go. We're playing against Arkan. I think I'm gonna keep this. Okay. He passes the turn. Not sure where he could be on. I assume that he's playing the monkey deck. He created and he's been has been working for a while in a monkey deck that uses like Ursa Saga and stuff. But I haven't seen Arkham stream for a minute, so not sure if he's still streaming even. Let's see if we finally get punished by <laughs> by the freaking <laughs> by the lack of uh you know, a cyber card. <laughs> um, stifle. Okay. Well, it's official, I have no idea what he's doing. Attempt to plow this. So I'm gonna have to dress down right now just because I want to cantrip. Okay, at least we're drawing lands. <laughs> It's 
under here. It's very nice. So top, top, top. And I think I want to, uh, it's actually, yeah, let's do this now. It's bad if he dashes monkey, but. There's a ponder and then a force beneath that. Okay. Play this fetch. Probably get a drop here. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do this right now. Force. Okay. Okay, so no cards in hand for him. It's time for Udo. Do I need to bring to ponder first? I think I have to ponder first. Yeah, shuffle. Whew. Guess I really need to hit that land drop. Okay. So I'm gonna take seven this turn down to four. to another Merc Tide. Do we have to force this? Three, four, five, six, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have to force this. The most awkward force I've ever cast in my life. Because I think like, his other card is a Murktide Regent. And if he plays the Murktide, I would be taking lethal. Now I go down to one. So I can go like draw a plow and then I can Udo into an answer to the Murktide. I guess both of them are one of the other one is six six, so yeah. <laughs> he says sick sick read. Thanks. <laughs> um, it's not enough, though. It's not enough. Uh, that stifle really got me. That stifle really, really got me. So let's go with this. And here it's between Static Caster or Shark Typhoon. I think I've been airing towards Static Caster. Okay. Um, okay. Let's keep this. Ten Worn Carpet. Keep Forces. Each in Merktide. Okay. Play that, say go. The reason for playing that is that we get to kill the monkey or something. <clears throat> Delver of Secrets. Surprised that this is still in, in his deck. I guess Moto is doing that thing where, where it doesn't get the arts of the cards is kind of unfortunate so Greenland would be great green source or red source would be fantastic I love how much care Arkham puts into you know the choices of hearts that he plays I love that uh, 
and counter that. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So the deliver is going to flip. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, because they shuffled. That's true. I forgot about that. Second deliver. That's devastating. It's absolutely devastating. So at least Caracas allows me to stop the monkey dash. But this is. This is super brutal. This is super, super brutal. I know that I, my opponent can now... Um, they can now stifle my Caracas, but I can't, you know, otherwise he can simply go ahead and, and dash the monkey, so... At least the, Delver, the Delvers refuse to flip. Narset is... Devastating. Oh my god. And we have the answer and everything, we just don't have and we know we're drawing another blank. Honestly, I may have to let the monkey connect. Yeah, that's too much now. That's too much. The rev and the force and it's just too many things. So this is eight damage. killing me deck you're killing me it was working so well until right now <laughs> deck was working so well until right now finally the greed <laughs> the greed has punished me the greed has finally punished me oh uh, yeah the narset wishes too much So he has the rev for the Udo, he has the force. I think we're just done here. I think we're just done. Couldn't get past the Jedi Master. Couldn't get past the Jedi Master. Brainstorm into the Narset. Um, all right, so it's unlikely that we get to top eight, but at Exxon 2, I should top 16. So there's one more round, and Arkan is very likely to top eight. So if my breakers hold, if my breakers hold, maybe we can sneak into the top eight as the eighth seed. I guess that there's a bunch of X1s, but like Mogd was our loss though. We lost to Mogd and we lost to Arkan. So if we 6 and 2, maybe we can sneak into the top 8. It's not very likely, but it's possible. So we just have to win the last round. So I'll see you there. Okay, here we are for the last round, paired against Tony Murata. Murata, 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 I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Um, he's well-known 12 post player, which is probably our single worst matchup. So there's that, I guess. Yep, he's playing post. That's very bad news for us. So Definitely we're ending here. I 
and I think I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to set up a fast auto seen it for one so that gets reclaimer so let me brainstorm first okay we have another answer so we're fine um, <clears throat> So top, top. I'm gonna kill this right now. And again, so my plan here is to end step, dress down, and untap and play rule. Well, my opponent's mana is not doing so well. So I'll step Patrice down. Blue, green, one. Here's a six, six. Go. Maybe I should have kept uh, iteration instead of brainstorm, but I was thinking that I was going to be forcing. Swing first with Udo. Play land. Let's brainstorm here. Put that on top. Put that on top. Shuffle. Get drop. Force of negation number two. I think we keep this. So we're gonna do the top, top, top. Say no, play the land, go. So we're not gonna be able to, uh, yeah, I think I'm forcing that. Savannah's fine. Force of negation. The plan is to make Rex Sage. That's fine. Six year. Looking for a Jace or something like that. Adjacent <laughs> man, that's hilarious. Um, something adjacent, you'd love to see it. So, this goes to hand. I think I just want to cast this brainstorm right now instead of getting the land. Um, all right, that is a faster clock. So dress down doesn't do any, uh, actually, yeah, there's no way that he can cast a Titan next turn. So dress down doesn't do anything. I guess the lands just don't do anything, right? So I can just pitch the dress down to the force if I have to. Um, that is fine. Now, if I do six here, so let's do drop, and now we're gonna get back prismatic ending. Prismatic ending, yes. Green, green, one. Cast endurance, target you, whatever. Untap, ending your dude. Nine, yeah. And then we should have lethal next turn. Secretly, we're just playing, you know, Uru Agro. <laughs> we're 
we're just playing Udo Aggro over here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just playing some Udo Aggro. Shout out to Dress Down there. Shout out to Dress Down. Glacial Cassin. Wow. That's good, I think. But not really. Like, he's not going to be able to hold that up for too long. Crop rot. Um. I think I snap force. Snap caster force. <laughs> negation. Force of negation, your crop rotation. This goes to hand. This to the bottom. This to exile. This now. Just want to find the blue card for force. We have double force up. Sure, um, that's fine. Say no. Swing. Doesn't deal damage, obviously, but you know, we draw the card and we gain the life, so it's fine. And now he only has two colors of he only has like two mana and like I, I think that this is locked up <sighs> surprised that the sack was the forest as opposed to something else um okay so i'm just gonna chase plus here Make sure that a land is never found. Tapped horribly. That doesn't really matter. Look at the cards, put it at the bottom. No. You may draw a cozy luck. <clears throat> you may draw a cozy luck. Swing. Plus on you, biting needle. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let me draw that. Just card alone. Maybe I should have just you know cast alone, or whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter. This is just we've been in garbage time for a couple of turns already. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be really really hard to beat. But uh, we have meddling mages. Is that it? <laughs> We get Melon Mages and <laughs> So my combo I guess is gonna be Wasteland plus Sloan. Like this is how I'm gonna win this game. Uh yeah, none of my other cards do anything. Meltdown potentially kills no nah, this no nah, they have like expedition maps and stuff. Yeah, it's just not enough. So Cut the shark, cut one endurance, but I think not two, maybe just two endurances. They do be down really nicely, but we definitely want eight removal spells for Reclaimer seems reasonable to me. Um, like that card. I mean, imagine if my opponent, if any of the Reclaimers my opponent played had survived, right? Like we would have lost very, very quickly. So making sure that Reclaimer is kept in check is extremely important. Uh, we have the Wasteland. We have an answer to Reclaimer on one. We have a, the combo again. Yeah, this hand is fantastic. <clears throat> if I find the land, okay, I'm, I'm gonna Wasteland the Cloud Post. It's 
not very good, but okay. Are we gonna be able to set up the aggro plan again? Maybe not. Oof. Guess a triple cloud post draw. Ugh. That's really bad for me. Loam would be a great draw. No loam. Um well I don't know what I'm naming with Medley Mage, so I'm just gonna go for for the same plan that we enacted last game. Which may not work here. Yeah, the fact that they had a triple cloud post draw is kind of brutal. So this is five mana total. We're not in great shape. We're not in great shape. Like if my opponent has like land into like, I guess I need to find a force and I have to dodge a cavern of souls. If I manage to do that, maybe I could be okay. Also, this is a cool choice for, for basic, basic art. It's pretty neat. Um, okay. All right, we got a plan, folk. Volcanic Island. My opponent could have like, I guess like some sort of enchantment destruction. Green, blue, one. Your turn. Really wish I had found the um, force yeah that's that's really bad for us so now I guess I need a life from the loam it's gonna have infinite mana it's gonna start be able being able to just hard cast the dudes okay iteration Looking for plow. Ugh, it's very bad. It's very bad for us. So, hand. Bottom exile. Play land. Still looking for a source of blushers. No four, no swords. <clears throat> Guess we have to trade here. Okay. Okay. Um still I'm not liking my spot at all, right? My opponent can start hard casting the Drossy Titans, so it's probably not gonna be good for me, but maybe he doesn't already have any of them. I'm probably gonna brainstorm one end step. And I'm not gonna get as much value from it, but my I think it's possible that I may have to like Snapcaster Plow something. I would like to also play the, the Melee Mage, naming probably Emrakul. So like I, I just have to do too much stuff. I just have to do way too much stuff. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna have the mana lane around so I can cast this brainstorm. It also sets up my turn a little bit more nicely. It's possible that it's wrong. Well, I guess that I can just, I can just Sanctuary the swords if I need to kill something. Well, I can't counter that, so. That is that. Three, six, nine, ten mana. So I'm gonna have to melee mage on probably Emrakul, the Aeon Storm. This deck is so good at not dying, though. Thespian stage. Okay. Interesting. 
Okay, so how I like I said, probably gonna have to do this. Samples of these, but we're gonna get one of those back. Um, now that I found Now that I found another plow, I can probably do this. Okay. Um, I guess we're doing that. Uh, not where I want it to be, but it is what it is. So, bottom, bottom, top, no shuffle. We're gonna do this next turn. Blue, white, I'm gonna name Emrakul here. Emrakul, the Aeon Storm. Now we're gonna pass it back. So my opponent can probably still fetch for something big and scary, but at least it's not Emrakul, which straight up wins the game. <laughs> At least we're not actually just dead. We're just very, very likely just dead. <laughs> so they're probably gonna go get Koselec, I would imagine. Yep. But it's okay, like Koselec, we can probably just counter it. Swing for six, eight. They're gonna draw four. Yeah, that one, <laughs> that one beats us. Ugh, that one beats us. Okay. We have, we're gonna have to, gonna have to go for game two. Um, is there something silly that I can do? like exile all of their threats is that something realistic for me to do if i just plow everything So, hand, bottom, exile, plow, one, two, three, play this guy, where's my loam, I'd like to find my loam, um, I mean if they don't have Emrakul already in hand, we can, well, can, can they just, no, they, they can't just hard cast Emrakul here, I don't think. That's fine, we can ending that. Would you be bog is kind of brutal. Yeah, would you be bog's pretty good there. Hey, yeah, okay, they already had it. Okay, so, Game number three. Yeah, I don't think that we can really change anything. This is kind of what it is. This is just what it is. Like it's this is probably your single worst matchup. Ship this. I'm gonna keep this one. But I'm not super stoked about it.
Sometimes forget that this card is legal in this format. Can't believe this card was legal in modern. Opponent reveals endurance. <clears throat> Brainstorm. Okay, so we got the combo again. So bottom that and bottom. I guess I'm gonna bottom the force actually. Bottom that, bottom that. Whoops. Play this. Get tundra plow. He did see wasteland, so it's very likely, yeah. They're just gonna name wasteland. I just don't think we're gonna have enough time to <sighs> brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. This matchup truly is miserable. This matchup truly is miserable. I mean, that's kind of what the deck is trying to do, right? Like, it's trying to pray in this four color nonsense decks. Uh, Prismatic ending would be really good, so I can get rid of this and I can start wastelanding them. So, my best draw would be if I find ending into loam. Almost regardless of what my opponent does here, I think we can win. But we have to draw... We have to draw that. We just have to draw Prismatic Ending, kill the Needle, loan, uh, Wasteland them, loan the Wasteland back, play the Wasteland again, Wasteland. And even if they resolve Primeval Titan this turn, I think that that specific sequence does is still good enough. <laughs> don't tap more mana. That's a lot of mana you're tapping. I don't like that. Okay. Storm. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of that, right? One is missing land drops. They're gonna get one extra. Yeah, yeah. We, we have to get rid of that. So uh, put this on top. Put actually we can pitch this to the the Uda to the four. So let's put that on top. Then that on top. We're gonna ending the needle. And then we're gonna wasteland the one of the cloud posts. My opponent gets one turn with Reclaimer active. We're drawing, we have a Brainstorm and we have um, a Plow. So the Plow is gonna get rid of the Reclaimer because I can't have the Reclaimer stay in place for too long. And we're 
really, really digging towards like a life from the loam. We have the force to deal with the endurance. So that loam is a solid plan. Still have to find the loam though. Super close game. Super close game. Again, like Udo Agro is it's proven to be to be potentially potentially a thing. Cavern is not the worst. So he can cavern on elemental so that the endurance resolves. So that means that my my wasteland yeah my wasteland plan goes out the window, but that means that I can potentially counter a primeval titan, which is a huge deal. And this turn the reclaimer is dying. Brainstorm. Okay, okay, so I guess there's nothing I'm forcing here. No, there's potentially stuff that I may force. So let's ending reclaimer. So my opponent can actually act activate here. They have Sejiri step? Caracas. Okay, yeah, that's that's bad. That's very bad. That buys my point at infinite time. So we're gonna need a new plan because Udo the Udo plan doesn't work anymore. The Udo plan doesn't work any, any longer. We're gonna shuffle away. My top two cards are Udo and Source to Blouchers. Neither card is good for me right now. So I'm definitely gonna shuffle away. One is gonna bounce Udo. They probably have to bounce here. Yep. <clears throat> Jukubog. Yep, that's pretty good. So there's no more wasteland for us. No more wastelands for the home team. So we're gonna have to deal with that thing. So I'm gonna get trop because this costs. Um, that's big. That's big. Sure, so put that on top and that on top, ponder, force, I can probably shuffle this. We can counter, what's his name though? <clears throat> We cannot counter endurance though. Storm here. If I whiff, my opponent gets to. Yeah, I whiffed. I 
So we got one more look. Got one more look at a plow. <laughs> Brutal. Um, is that good enough? I think it's not okay second jace is good <clears throat> endurance is so good man endurance is such a great card so the good thing is if we do get to counter spell um what's his name one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chase down. <clears throat> Here comes prime time. That's super rough. On the bottom, play my land, pass the turn. If my opponent has second prime time, we're probably dead here. So we're hoping that they whiff. Tapping from the old Titan mana. Yep, that's it. <laughs> that is game. I guess I can find like double plow or something like that, but at, th at this point, my opponent just has Io Boogin. Yeah, and we don't have Wasteland, so. Uh, we were so close. <laughs> we were so, so close. Ah, uh, that's devastating. That is so, so devastating. That is so, so devastating. We're done here. We were so close. We were so, so close. Um, maybe... Maybe I, I just couldn't let the Reclaimer survive for a turn. Maybe I had to spend that turn to kill the Reclaimer. The problem is my opponent had like, they had Cloud Post, Cloud Post, green mana, and they were they had missed a land drop for two turns. So I, I assume that there was a possibility that we could actually just keep them off of mana. But it, it just took me too long to find a, to find another win condition. And now we're just dead. Because there's nothing that actually can beat everything that my opponent's got going on. <clears throat> yeah. Brutal. All right. GG's. Yeah, th this matchup is just unwinnable. This matchup is just unwinnable, unfortunately. Anyway, uh, hopefully I get to top 16, but at this point I think I'm going to top 32 at best, which is unfortunate. Very unlucky pairing at the end there. All right, here we are for the wrap-up. We ended up in 30th place. A little bit disappointing after a 5-on-1 start, but, you know, the wheels kind of fell off towards the end. Um... Pretty sad. I mean, I, we probably wouldn't have been able to sneak into into the top eight anyway, because uh, even at six and two, we, like we lost against Arcan, and Arcan, you know, kind of where is he? Did he top eight? Oh yeah, he did. Awesome. Yeah, he won the last round. Sweet. So, um, yeah, our our breakers were not 
fantastic. But yeah, going back to the deck, uh, I recommend submitting 15 cards on <laughs> your sideboard <laughs> instead of submitting uh, instead of submitting 14. Um, so uh, what this taught me is that I should probably figure out the deck list and make sure that I have all the cards before two minutes before the event. Uh, because uh, the the rental service may not function for whatever reason, um, but yeah, the deck looked uh, like a lot of fun. I actually had a really good time. I hadn't played Legacy in a, in a long time, honestly. I hadn't played Legacy in months, and I actually enjoyed every single one of the matches that I played. Um, the deck is definitely a little bit on the greedy side, and we lost against Delver twice, which this deck is built to to kind of beat, right? Like this deck is kind of sort of aiming at beating uh, the blue red uh, style decks, and we still lost to Delver twice. Both of those times it was because, uh, what, what, I guess one of those times it was because you know we just flooded and my opponent drew all four iterations. Uh, the other time it was because you know we finally was, were punished by our greed. And we had, like, we were in a spot where, you know, Arkan countered my Carpet of Flowers for turn one. And then uh, from there on, like, after he wasted under my land, I, I had a, two iterations in hand that I was not able to cast, even though I had three lands in play. So um, there is, like, a, a cost. There is definitely a cost, which is nice, right? Like, it's in the past, like, I remember, like, when I top aided the, the showcase... Uh, the last time, which was last year at this point, geez, time really goes by quickly. Um, when that happened, uh, I was playing Astrolabe, and Astrolabe meant that your opponent would play Wasteland and would just laugh at their, in their faces. Like, I, I really like the fact that, you know, Wasteland can now punish these ridiculously greedy mana bases, and it's it's fine, you know, like, it's, I think it, that's, in, in a way that is healthy as far as legacy goes like it, it is a way to keep the to keep the legacy metagame healthy at, at least it's a way to put it but uh, the, the list was fantastic i had a good time if i were to play an event like a legacy to uh, event or of some kind or whatever i would probably play something like this like the cards are just so powerful and so many decisions <laughs> so many decisions uh, but it's fun. It's fun to like make decisions and be punished by them. Like I feel like multiple times during this event, uh, I made the decision. I went for something with like imperfect information. But like after hearing, after seeing what happened, I'm like, oh right. Like I guess if that happened, it would have been so much better to do the other thing. So uh, my inexperience in the format and like my, I mean, it's, I have a lot of experience in the format, but it's just like I'm out of touch with it. You know, like I, I haven't played it in a long time, so. A bunch of things, uh, particularly with cards like you know, there, there are some cards that have been printed like endurance, expressive iteration that uh, they really require you to to know what's up. You know, like they really require you to know what's up, and they really re require you to know what your opponent could do. Like we got super god by Arkan Stifle, for example. Um, like that kind of stuff is, um, you know, if you're a little bit more familiar with the, with the format, you can always uh, have an idea of what you need to play around and when it's worth it and where it, when it isn't. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It was a good time. Again, I really enjoyed the format. I can't remember the last time I enjoyed playing Legacy, honestly. So I don't know if this is because I was playing against, uh, you know, meta, meta decks. So, you know, there were a bunch of decisions and there were a bunch of back and forth and stuff like that, which I did, I, I did really like. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely recommend this deck list. Like if I went in cold and I still managed to, you know, get a five and three record, imagine if, <laughs> if I had, you know, had a little bit of experience, at least one of the matches that we lost, I am certain that we, we could have won uh, if, if I, if I knew what I, what I was doing really. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Have a fantastic rest of the day and bye-bye.